Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In the last video, we've learned the different types of materials, along with their characteristics and examples. In this video, we are going to discuss briefly about the application of the different types of engineering materials. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. There is a vast and wide range of applications of engineering materials. Some of them are briefly stated as follows. The ferrous metals are widely used in structural purposes for building structures and concrete reinforcement, in automotive, for chassis, engine parts, drive train, and for body parts, in marine, for construction of ship hulls, structures, and engines, in defense, for construction of tanks and weapons, and in consumer products, for making of appliances, vehicles, toys, utensils, and tools. Non-ferrous metals are used in architectural purpose, for aluminum windows and doors, automotive, for aluminum engine blocks, copper wiring and magnesium wheels, in marine industry, for brass and bronze fittings, bearings and propellers, in defense industry, for brass shell castings, and also in consumer products, for electrical wiring, utensils, jewelry, electronics, etc. Another category of materials are ceramics, which are used in automotive, for valve components, backings in crankshaft housing, in mechanical equipment, for high temperature and wear resistant cutting tools and pumps, in electronics, for high power electronic capacitor insulation. In medical, for making artificial bones and dental products. In environmental sector, like water treatment, waste recycling, processing of raw materials, minerals. In aerospace, for engine shielding, airframes, missile nose cones, rocket nozzles. And, also in modern industry, for making knives, bulletproof jackets, ceramic ball bearings. Then comes the composite materials. The composites are used widely. In composite armors, like the construction of carbon fiber armors. In sports industry, for making sole of running shoe, shaft of arrow. And, also in many sectors, in the aerospace industry. And in transportation. The polymers, which are organic class of materials, are of different types, and, different polymers are used, for different purposes. ABS, is a type of polymer material, used in refrigerator lining garden equipment, toys, highway safety devices. Acrylics, are polymers, used in lenses, transparent aircraft enclosure, outdoor signs. The polymer, PTFE, is used in anti-corrosive seals, anti-adhesive coatings, bearings, electronic parts. Nylons, are the types of polymers, used in bearings, gears, cams, jacketing for wires. Polyethylene, has use, in flexible bottles, toys, battery parts, ice trays. And the polymers called, epoxies, are mostly used in electrical moldings, adhesives, protective coatings. Another class of materials are the semiconductor materials. A very wide range of applications of semiconductor materials, are established nowadays, in almost all of the notable industries of modern civilization, including integrated circuitry in electronic and computer industries. So, these are the basic and notable fields of application, of the different classes of engineering materials. In the next video, we will discuss about the materials cycle, or the total materials cycle, that discusses their origin from the earth, and deployment of the materials, or reuse of these materials again and again. Thank you.